guys. I haven't seen where a child will buy and the father will be wearing the child clothes when they have not buried the child. This thing that Papa Mubad is doing, I don't know whether it's normal in the rest culture in Nigeria. In the Yoruba culture, many people said it's not normal. Papa Mubad has started wearing Mubad clothes. He's dressing with his son clothes. Why his son is still in the mortuary, the Nova burial? Papa Mubad, they wear the clothes. If you think I am lying, listen to this short clip. Listen. Hmm. A comment. Um, someone was asking that is that not Mubad's clothes his dad is putting on. Shh. So I had to I had to come through to meet his dad to ask him the same question again. So let's see what that the Mubad have to say to us. That question is not what I can be answering because my focus now is the justice for my son. Shh. But let me just answer that in a brief way. Uh, it's is my this son. normal, guys? Because we're in the Meanwhile, I will be putting some comments according to Yoruba, Yoruba culture. I share with them. I will be putting some comments on the screen here for you guys to listen yeah. and uh, so uh, watch the whole comment. Read it. Is it normal? Why would me crying now that her life is in danger? Papa Mubad will not allow that to rest because of DNA. And I don't want to kind of be bogus. I said, this is exactly what I want to do. So you wanted to blame me, and it's my son. I say, friend to me. So that my was focus that was it, guys. I don't want to make video to move too long. The video so was long. Those, if you want to watch questions. the full clip, you can go to my YouTube to and watch it. Don't want to answer any kind of a question like that. That's just it, guys. So it's my son. I haven't seen yes. something like this in my so life, oh. Whoever. Papa Mobad is fighting for justice. Like. So Meanwhile, Mobad have a younger brother. He have a younger brother, right? Papa Mobad is not supposed to be wearing Mobad clothes. Mobad have a younger brother. Allow this younger brother to be wearing his clothes, sir. With all due respect, Mr. Joseph Aloba. Please, Papa, respect yourself a little bit. You are asking for DNA. And with me, you are shouting that hey, Nigeria, come and help me. Oh. Go and do the DNA, my sister. Go and do it. I know. I know it hurts. That your father-in-law is doubting the paternity of your child. You Any woman know you who impregnate them. The I know you know who impregnate you, which is Mobad. The baby Mubad look like Mobad, no doubt. Please, I but then again, woman, you should try and do it. It's no money that you are looking for because many people are volunteers. They are voluntary saying that they will give you the money to do the DNA. If it's money that you want, you can collect money from 10 people and use one of it to do your DNA. Then you keep the remaining nine people money in your pocket. Nobody will owe you. There was a time a guy tell you that, a man tell you that he want to give you 10 million to go and run a DNA that they run with 300,000 or 250,000. You would have kept the rest for yourself and save it or use it to open a business for yourself so that you can be moving freely. Although as for Papa Mubad, what you are doing is not nice, sir. This is not the first time you are wearing your child's clothes. It's not the second time. It's not the third. But, sir, with all due respect, stop wearing his clothes. Respect your son. Respect him. No, now. What did you guys think, guys? Is Papa Mubad right for wearing his son's clothes? They haven't buried his son, remember? Please put your thought on the comment section. I love you guys. I'm out.